be a good outcome for developing countries from Copenhagen, from your perspective? A good outcome for developing countries, and indeed the world, will be a deal which helps us to keep global warming well below 2 degrees centigrade. If we go above that threshold, then we're facing devastating impacts, particularly in the poorest and most vulnerable countries. So that's the priority, a deal which is strong, respects the environmental limits and is equitable and respects the development needs of the developing countries. We are looking for a fair deal in Copenhagen that can take into account um, not only uh, the carbon markets, uh, from, for us that's part of the solution, not the entire solution. If there is not a commitment of the developed world to reduce the carbon emissions as part of the deal with the um, in rainforest preservation, it won't work. OK, well, a just deal at Copenhagen will have two major planks to it. One is that rich countries would cut their emissions by about 40% on 1990 levels by 2020. And the second thing would be that um, they provide the technology and finance to enable developing countries to adapt and to mitigate. And the scale of that, we're probably looking at at least $200 billion a year. We find that uh, the crucial issue is that um, developed countries recognize the historical debt that is uh, on climate change, so that they are ready to pay, they are ready to finance, they are ready to support developing countries in what has to do with the, both adaptation and mitigation policies. For instance, if you go to Peru, you will find that uh, some of the biggest uh, cities, they don't have, uh, their, uh, their access to water is decreasing. In countries like uh, Bolivia, you find that uh, uh, diseases that were particular from the lowlands are going into the higher lands and higher uh, uh, attitudes. In countries like uh, small islands in the Caribbean, there is a lot of uh, problems related with not only with the uh, hurricanes, but also related with uh, all the threats that will come from uh, higher levels of uh, the sea. Finance is a really key issue, the additionality question as well, making sure that is additional to 0.7% commitments and, and all of these sorts of things. So I think it's a whole range of issues that need to be tackled. So it's going to be a busy 45 days leading up to Copenhagen and beyond.